Now at 1030 and only on 12, a group of inmates at a local prison are working to make a difference behind bars. Yeah, they're helping the Oregon Lions Foundation provide the gift of sight to people all around the world. Fox 12's Caitlin Boldick brings us a never before seen look at their eyeglass recycling program. How's everybody doing here? When you meet Tracy Brown. You're good? You got it already? You get the sense rather quickly. What? Let me see that. She loves what she does. And I actually am getting paid to do this. Brown runs the Oregon Lions Foundation's eyeglass recycling program. We are sorting through eyeglasses that have been collected throughout the state. All of this eyewear was donated to the Lions by people who don't need them anymore. Glasses that are still in good shape and have two lenses into a box. Tossed away glasses, now on a journey. It is incredible, <laughs> I know. With renewed purpose. These are the ones that are ready to go out to Coffee Creek. One that takes them to state prison. And they come to us pretty, pretty dirty. Into the hands. And we have to go through them. Of inmates like Emily Sadik. As soon as I came here, I didn't really think that there was gonna be much, much else with life except for being a convicted felon. One of just 16 women at Coffee Creek accepted into the prison's para-optometric training and eyeglass recycling program. It's a tough program to get into. I feel like we have the cream of the crop, really. It's here where inmates will clean, calibrate, and sort all of those donated glasses. We do about 6,000 a month. Most of them get sent back out to the Lions to bring on their mission trips all around the world. Without the hard work that these women do, we wouldn't be able to give the gift of sight and do our international sight missions. Um, so we're so incredibly grateful. The prison program run by Portland Community College also allows women to become nationally certified in optometry. The group learns how to make glasses for other inmates all across the state. We get to help people and can feel good that we're doing something, doing something right in our lives. Something right after past wrongs. I, um, made a bad choice and I ended up shooting my rapist. Though in a way, it's through being here. This program is definitely beyond a life changer. She's refocused. Not a lot of us would have this opportunity were it not for prison. Came from living um, street life and not, not really having set goals in my life, but I'm coming out a different person, a changed person, somebody with a career. Um, definitely speaks volumes. This is the Milwaukee Lions first time coming out here. A changed person. It's just amazing. It's just 180 degree turn. Like Tracy Brown. I've done a lot of crazy stuff. Um, I've been in prison several times. A graduate of the eyeglass program at Coffee Creek herself. I just got that. <laughs> it just represents that, that eyeglasses are my passion. That the optical field actually is my passion. And that I love to be able to help people. A passion that led to a job. It was amazing. Well, most, most days I, I cry at least once a day, probably more than, more than once. But uh, I cry on my way to work just because I get to go to work and, and do the thing I get to do, and that's help people. And a new lens on life. And this program, uh, this life, the lions, I should have a lion. <laughs> In Portland. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Caitlin Bolduck, Fox 12 Oregon. And if you would like to donate your eyewear to the Oregon Lions Foundation, well, we posted that information on our website. That's kptv.com. Just click on the link you'll find to the story.